every year in the Netherlands in the autumn there is a very important radio market. It's organized by the Veron, that is the Society for Radio Amateurs, and there's also another society that is the VRZA. And I want to say, give a first ID only some uh, perhaps things that are interesting to tell. I have to take the camera in my hand because I made another video and it did, did not work so well. Uh, too much shading in the, um, in the videos, etc. So, I will pan over some uh, videos that I made today, uh, 29 October 2022, in Zwolle in the Netherlands. Very old radio here, 1920s I think. And well, I have to switch on the, the market sounds. Anyway, perhaps I will switch it off also anyway. Uh, well, a beautiful scale here. Old school capacitors, etc, etc. So, a restoration project. <laughs> This is, by the way, uh, a site where people try to uh, receive weather stations. They are, uh, say, going around our Earth. And of course you can uh, study the weather on the website. But <coughs> this is, say, the real old school radio technology where with antennas and L and Bs they try to, uh, they try to, they receive really the weather stations. And here you see the so called LNBs, say the satellite core receiver mounted in in a certain way into the parabolic antenna the disc antenna etc etc to to uh, say receive the weather information <laughs> and the next video well This is, in my opinion, very interesting. Um, this radio amateur, and I will tell his name in the text box in the description, uh, is part of the measuring laboratory. You can, uh, say, measure your antennas and see how good the quality is, the quality factor. And in this case, they were measuring a loop antenna on 3.5 megahertz. And it is, say, the typical band for radio amateurs, but anyway, let's listen. What are you measuring here? This dip. What is this dip? You have a good equality factor of your loop. Okay. Okay, thanks. Quality factor of this loop antenna. The only problem is uh, I had it uh, working on uh, 3.6 megahertz, but uh, by uh, transport something has changed. Okay, okay, yeah. And, uh, don't I have the specs on 3.6 and now only on 4.0? Okay, okay. 
so that's very interesting. <coughs> uh, this antenna was made for three. This loop antenna was made for 3.5 megahertz. But during transport, something happened, and say the resonance frequency shifted somewhat. Anyway. <laughs> Also, this clam is not not uh, not straight enough anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is uh, perhaps interesting for all, say, uh, newbies and beginners in radio, uh, shortwave radio listening. You can make a very good quality shortwave radio receiver with the help of some software on Linux. Uh, and there is inside the Linux program a software defined radio program. And the only thing that you need is a dongle, and to that dongle uh, you have to, uh, of course, uh, connect a proper antenna. That's always necessary when you want to receive uh, radio stations on shortwave. And with that software you can set to all the, say, proper uh, shortwave listener conditions, say, receiving single sideband, upper side band, AM, FM, etc, etc. And that's done here. So, when you are interested in, in radio reception, don't buy a um, um, communications receiver of 2000 euros. Buy a dongle, install some software and then you have it all at hand. <coughs> So, to the next, and there is another video where I tell the same. Anyway, components and more components. Perhaps not very interesting, but anyway. That was the famous Bao Feng brand of China. They sell, uh, say, uh, all kinds of scanners, etc., etc. Et Some tubes and well, this is this is perhaps interesting to show. Uh, it's now say more or less uh, immersed here. But this it was a very old school audio oscillator. I asked it, and I think that was uh, there's a tuning fork here. And on that tuning fork there is a coil, and that coil receives, I think, perhaps I'm wrong, the frequencies out of the tuning fork and amplifies it or does not amplify it. But but anyway. Uh, it was a, say, 20, 1920s circuit. Receiver or transmitter. I think it was a receiver or a transmitter. I'm not sure. Yeah. 
So while he goes on the radio market. And perhaps this is interesting to show, it is the FRG7, a very famous uh, shortwave radio of the 1970s and the early 1980s. It's, it's a very, very good radio. I have listened to it, but I did not own that radio myself anyway. As far as I know, it has a double uh, IF frequency. <coughs> Yes, double I frequency uh, to get more selectivity. That was a kind of overview. Uh, in my opinion, too expensive. Uh, say things you better do to make that yourself. <laughs> Beautiful measuring instruments and they show that they all work. That's of course very important when you buy something on the flea market. I even found that they um, uh, presented a frequency counter with no description that the whole thing was completely defective. And one of the visitors on the market asked is this defective or not? Well. Of course, not on this side, but on an other side. And uh, of course, the woman told, "Yes, it's 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 defective." But anyway, please, please uh, write a note and tell that it is defective or not. So, to the next video clip. <laughs> Beautiful old school tuning capacitors. I bought one there for future experiments. Overview again. Ik heb het
thuis even uh, wat uh, aanstappen om de hoek om ruimte te maken. This is perhaps interesting to show. These are Russian tubes and that's a reason why I filmed them. Zo was het. Ja, anders komen jullie. Ik heb nou een hoop naar de veiling gedaan. In december. Ach, ja. Ik heb zo vol staan. Ik heb een garage van 15 meter lang. Okay, next video. And here can that software defined radio that you can receive with a dongle of approximately 50 uh, dollars or euros or 30 dollars or euros and well with this software on Linux. <laughs> And that software is immersed in the Linux program and software. Beautiful air caused by the way, air is the most ideal uh, de electricum. So this is very interesting. <laughs> A very big loop antenna. My camera will switch off in approximately one minute or so, but anyway, let's listen and look. Loop antenna. Ja. En dan heb ik ook geëxperimenteerd met 